Hello beautiful creatures of the world, today I'm going to talk about my Pretty Little Liar series for season 6. When you see this, it's going to be Wednesday, so 6 days. Give or take whenever you see this, because you're probably not going to see this today, the day I post it. But, yeah, um, Pretty Little Liar season 6 is coming really soon, June 2nd, Game on Charles. It's exciting, and I just want to talk about, um, not really theories, but hopes for season six. And the first thing I want to bring up is the liars are trying to escape the dollhouse, and why? Like, why would they want to escape the dollhouse? Because the alternative is prison. Like, I was re-watching Welcome to the Dollhouse, the season five finale, and it's like, the alternative is prison. You are trying very hard to get out of the dollhouse, which... In the dollhouse, you have a comfortable bed. You have each other, you'll be together. In jail, you won't be. Like, I get that in the dollhouse. They have a deranged killer with them. And they're also living with someone who used to be, like, their stalker for a couple years. But it's like, they're gonna be crazy people in jail. They probably won't be together in jail. They won't have, like, the comfort of the dollhouse. So, I don't know. Would you rather, would you rather be in jail or in the dollhouse? Let me know in the comments if you have an input on this. Um, but secondly, um, Marlene King said that... Every single question will be answered in 10 episodes. And there are so many. Like, I saw something on Tumblr that had, like, 300 questions. And it's like, how is that all going to be answered in 10 episodes? Unless the writers literally just sat down and answered every single question. Every single one. I'm trying to have faith in the writers that everything will be okay and all the questions will be answered. But I'm struggling with that. <laughs> but in 10 episodes, all questions on this, like, A. Charles story will be answered. Which how and like all the questions that we've had in the first five seasons like they've opened so many doors that they haven't big ones for example who tried to hit or who tried to kill Allie that night who like hit Bethany with the rock obviously we know that Melissa killed Bethany by burying her alive but who started to try to kill Bethany and those are just some like who moved Ian's body I know is another one that people have been wondering and Marlene King tweeted that she's answering every single question that she can think of how many can she think of if she has all the answers in her head can she get in the mindset of someone who doesn't have all the answers and try and understand what they need to know before the storyline's over? I'm just concerned about that. Um, if you want to put some input in this, if you're concerned, let me know in the comments. That would be muchly appreciated. My theory for um, six season 6A is that I hope that we don't find out who Charles is. I hope we don't have to wait until the summer finale game over Charles to find out who he is because I think the really big complicated story is why and that's what we really want to know ultimately so I think if we can get the who out of the way out of the way if we can get the who out of the way right away then it'll be easier I guess to understand why I don't know um I had a theory for a while that Lucas was Charles and he was a dealer around his child but his parents adopted him and it's a really long story why, like, Jessica was okay with that, giving up her child. But then, like, Lucas knew that Allie was his sister, but Allie didn't know. And he was really mad at Allie. So he teamed up with Mona to torture her. But then I couldn't think of a reason why he'd want to torture the liars. A really good theory I saw that would be awesome is when Allie was in hiding, she got pregnant with Charles's child and Charles is torturing Allie because he wants the baby and he thinks that the liars know where the baby is but they're withholding the information from him which I thought was a really interesting theory. I don't know if you'd start a deadly game for that but yeah I, I saw a lot of theories about Ren which are always fun to watch. It'd be awesome to get Ren back because we haven't had Ren since 4A so it'll be two years now once 6A starts. The whole clue of Marlene saying the song Walking After Midnight is a clue. Well, Walking After Midnight, I'm sure you've seen this if you go on Tumblr or, or social media at all, is a farm that used to be called Black Widow Farms, owned by a Melissa and Dr. Charles. Who do we know that's a doctor? Only two characters. I could be missing one or two, but two characters we know who are doctors are Ren and Dr. Sullivan, and I think Dr. Sullivan is too irrelevant to be A, and she'd have absolutely no reason to be A, and A tortured her, even though that was Mona still. That so those are basically my quick theories, hopes, thoughts on season six. I would love to know yours. Um, leave a comment or if you want to follow me on my social media that's down there, you can send me a tweet or um, an Instagram picture <laughs> and subscribe so that my videos just pop up in your inbox. So 
in your inbox and in your subscription box so you don't have to search me out it'll just be easier for everyone thank you so much for watching i love y'all deuces